Look at that. Tight squeeze. <laughs> oh, 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 wow! You know, she she. I guess one of the locals at this breakfast place uh, dropped off. You know, she she. Oh, what? I guess we're gonna have a barbecue later. I get it. Oh, oh, boy, man. <laughs> And so, uh, Makoto-san and I, we're gonna get out, just the two of us. And this is his other ride, a BMW. Of course he'd have a, an old classic BMW convertible. <laughs> I bet this car is fun in the summer. Yes. Top down. So we're going to the Takubin. So. Takubin, I got Takubin. Courier service. Kokusai <laughs> Takubin. Like international. Old, international, like shipping. Okay. Basically, just going to the uh, the post office. <laughs> He's like, Nick, come on, you're going with me. Kay and Yuya, they got some stuff to do at the house. Uh, Kay, she's a, a yoga instructor, and so she actually has a Zoom lesson at home. So she couldn't come, and so I think we're just gonna maybe explore a little bit. I don't know. Uh, it's nine o'clock. It's still pretty early, but it just feels like uh, it's just a, a dead city. I guess it's maybe this time of year. You know, there's tons of places like this with a lot of tables out and whatnot, but I don't ever see anybody sitting in them. <laughs> Maybe he needs help. Oh, okay. And uh, these right here are uh, some delicious olives that I'll be taking home to America. All the uh, olives? All of olives. All of the crozes. Oh, the clothes too? Well, I won't be taking these to America because they're going somewhere, but I already grabbed a couple, a couple jars. Dude's over here washing off his door, washing off his little entrance right there. Maybe not a dude, it was a lady. But uh, I would love to see what some of these houses look like on the inside. I mean, you walk through here and you just see these old, old doors, you know, all over the, uh, all over the place. And, and uh, I just would love to see what it looks like in some of these homes. I mean, you guys know me, I love going down random alleys and uh, streets and whatnot. And uh, this place is nothing but that, just a bunch of different uh, streets and pathways that cut off into random alleyways, but it's crazy. There's nobody here. Wow. Okay. Makoto's, Makoto san is in the car. Maybe he's waiting on me. Tight squeeze. Very small road. Okay, so we're back home. Let me show you the olive oil that it's already produced from uh, just two days ago when we were picking them. <laughs> Crazy, they showed up with the box today and they're like, okay, Nick, here's uh, your portion. I don't know, I'm taking back four or five bottles. I don't know why I'm taking off my shoes. <laughs> uh, but I was kind of amazed at how quick it was to, uh, to, uh, Turn the olives into olive oil. Oh. Extra virgin olive oil, my bad. You got it. Did I not? This is it right here. Bam. 
from uh, two days ago to this. But they were saying this was the worst year they've ever had. Only about 3% production this year. <laughs> and so that's why we were able to finish so quickly. Uh, so maybe next year, if I come back, we'll have a lot more work to do and we can have a, they'll have a lot more bottles to produce. But I guess it just, it happens every once in a while. You know, maybe next year will be better. <laughs> <laughs> so of course these are not the same olives as the ones that we picked a couple days ago. This olive is where? Here. But the other one? But from here. Okay. Well, that's an interesting one, isn't it? Okay, so we're back in Orvieto. We came up here, went to the post office. We drove back down, picked up Kay and Duya, took them to where they need to go, and now we're back up here. And uh, we have about an hour to kill. Hopefully we see some things in Orvieto. What are we doing here? Maybe go do a tour or something? I don't know. I'm just kind of following along here. I'll see you in about 40 minutes. Okay. All right. So he, uh, he bought me a ticket to go check out a, uh, a huge spiral staircase, I think, is what I saw online. But uh, Kay and Yuya, they have some stuff to do. He's going to go put gas in the car. He's going to let me do my own thing, which I kind of like. And so uh, we're going to explore a little bit of Orvieto, or at least this part, for the next 40 minutes. So let's do it. The first place we're going to go to is the Big Lieto Eterno. Comuni di Orvieto. Pozo di Saint Patrizio. I think I'm saying that right. I'm sure I'm not. But... Yeah, what a what a beautiful place. The, the the trees are changing colors. It's uh maybe a little early still, but I don't know. I think it's a beautiful time of year to come here. Check it out. Toilet. Cost you uh fifty cents. Hmm. So it's not only Indonesia that charges you money to use a toilet. They do it here too. First, before we go in, let's go check out the view. I'm guessing this is where I'm going. The St. Patrick's Well. Okay, yeah. I read about this online. Okay. What a view, and it's nice. The sun's kind of coming out. I guess this is where you're going. Okay. I guess we just start walking down. Hello. <laughs> oh, 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 wow! Wow! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> it kind of makes your skin crawl a little bit. Mm. Okay, so I guess the idea is just to walk all the way down. I don't know if there's anything down there, but we're going to do it. Wow. I'm 
And so when I was reading about this place, uh, I think it said something like there's actually two spiral staircases. And it's kind of hard to notice that when you're walking down, but there's two spiral staircases that go all the way up and down that never meet. bottom and that is that wow that's pretty spooky that is pretty spooky and then from here I guess you you go up the opposite end and so you you come down one spiral staircase and you go up the other that's the and I almost forgot one important thing. You gotta make a wish and throw money in the well. That's why you come down here. Okay. Uh, okay, and I think this is the last lookout point before we exit. Yeah, I am out of breath. <laughs> what a cool place though. What a cool place. All right. Let's see what else we can find around here. Here we are. Hmm. So I'm guessing this used to be right here. Um, is this from the Etruscans? Maybe this guy will know. Excuse me. Was this ruins from the Etruscans? Italiano. Ah, I'm sorry. Però Tempiatro. Etruscan? Tempiatro. Ah, okay. Yeah, uh, pezzi rimasti. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not really sure. Okay. Era come questo. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know Italian though. Ah, thank you though. Ah, so I think he gave me the confirmation though. This was a, some uh, Etruscan ruins, which the Etruscans ruled in this area of uh, Italy for about 600 years from the 9th century BC to around the 3rd before they were uh, succumbed, they were taken over by the Romans. And a lot of their history and their culture and everything, their language was uh, pretty much erased. And so you don't have a lot of Etruscan history left, but you do have some remains like this. A lot of their culture from what I was reading was absorbed by the Romans, things like the gladiator games, um, you know, uh, what else would be? I can't think of it right now, but other things from the Etruscan uh, culture was uh, absorbed by the Roman Empire. Okay, let's keep going. Gracias. I mean, I have noticed that. A lot of Italians speak really good English. Um, obviously not everyone is going to speak English, but uh, the majority of people here I've, uh, I've found is, you know, speak at least a little bit of English. And so it's pretty easy to travel here as an English speaker, like most places are in the world, luckily. You pay a little bit of money, you can go on a tour. That might be nice. Let's go check out this statue over here. I mean, this place is crawling with history. <laughs> That's when a tour would come in handy. Tell you what all these statues are, these monuments. Mm. But the views up here, Breathtaking. Whoo! What a place. What a place. This is some pretty intense barbed wire, too. Wow. Okay. I think we only have time to go check out this castle looking place over here on the corner. And by then, Makoto san will probably be here. 
which kind of had me thinking. We came up here to go to the post office, and then we drove back down to the house. We picked up Kay and Duya, and we drove back up here, he dropped me off, and now he's driving back down to uh, get gas, and he's coming back up to pick me up. Why didn't he just leave me up here the first time and save himself a few trips? <laughs> And I could have had a little bit more time to explore up here, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why we do the things we do sometimes, right? This is like a big, beautiful park. I'm sure it served as uh, something else back in the day. It looks like a fortress uh, on, the, on the edge of Orvieto. It's fun listening to Makoto san talk too. Like we were out by uh, by his olives uh, a few days ago, and he was like, "Yeah, this used to be a road right here." You know, I, he's like I just like to imagine that the the Roman army used to walk down this old road that's just covered with uh, this bushes and and trees and whatnot. Now he's like, "Yeah, I like to imagine that Julius Caesar walked right by my home, you know, 2,000 plus years ago." Yeah, that is pretty cool to imagine. Ooh-wee. What a place, what a place. What's going on over here? So it looks like they've kept most of the area clean and free from graffiti and spray paint, but tucked away in this corner over here, not so much. Where does this look over? Whoo! Okay. I'm guessing we're looking at an old flagpole. I can only imagine. And it kind of peers off right over the edge. I'm sorry I keep doing this to you, looking down like this, so. If you're afraid of heights and you're watching this at home, sorry about that. But uh, I just can't help myself. I mean, I want to look over. <gasps> Maybe you guys don't. I mean, I keep saying this, but what a place. What a place. I mean, we've only been to a few places in Italy so far. We've only done Orvieto. Um, shit, that's kind of only it. I mean, we went to the mall yesterday. You can't really call that you know experiencing Italy so to speak tomorrow though we're going to Rome and then we're gonna go check out a port city you know, I'm just kind of letting Makoto san take the lead and let him do what he wants to do and what you know let him show us what he wants to show us so all right so what that sign was saying back there is that this used to be the main entrance into the city back in like 1290 and uh it's pretty spooky <laughs> there's like these cages over here almost looks like a prison maybe they just put those there just to keep people out for now but you know this was a fort built to keep people out i guess that this was the only way in and out of the city back in the day still use I don't want to walk too far down because I just have to walk my ass way back up okay it looks like it keeps going I mean damn okay I don't want to walk all the way down there because I'm just gonna have to walk my ass right back up but this is what it would look like if you were coming here what uh, a thousand years ago, 800 years ago, do the math. And it looks like we've come to the, uh, the Nasi Champur of, of Italy. Sorry? 
Get out of her way. But here we have a variety of different things, which is awesome. We have lasagna, some chicken, some veggies. I don't know what that is. Maybe some turkey. They got rabbit down there. Mm. I'm tired of looking at just bread. <laughs> to be Finally, some veggies and some, some uh, casserole looking stuff. Mm. <laughs> 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 it smells good. <laughs> I feel like Makoto san knows everybody. I think we're going to get a tour. I think it's going to get pretty noisy though. So this is uh, pretty similar to the place we yes. went last time, but just much smaller. But this is this very small. Uh -huh. The important thing is that you know that, that one? Uh -huh. That one. Okay. After, after meal, mm -hmm. there is uh, some... Uh, uh, Leftover... Yes, yes, yes. Like, yeah. That is uh, to, to make some oil, Hexan, named of Hexan, mm -hmm. to make it that olive oil. With another oil to the pure oil okay. to export to Japan. Oh, okay. So they use that, the, the that, leftovers. That is not extra virgin oil. Oh. But in Japan, sometimes extra virgin oil. Ah, I see, I see. You know? So they use the, ex the excess to make another type of olive oil? Yes. Ah, okay. And then they might add chemicals or something? Okay. That's why the lady last time was uh, really adamant <laughs> at uh, clearing up the terminology of being... It's not olive oil, it's extra virgin olive oil and there's a difference. All the wine we've had on this trip has been so smooth, so good. Every day. Wine, wine. Delicious, delicious. That is some sludgy looking shit right there. So I guess this gets turned into more olive oil. Not the extra virgin though. Huh. Okoto-san, so that gets turned into more olive oil. Yes, yes. Just the low grade quality? Yes. Not Extra. Not fresh. extra virgin olive oil. And they sell that in Japan? Yes. So if you're eating olive oil. Name of pure oil. If you're eating olive oil in Japan, just be careful. That's what it's coming from. <laughs> 